Hello and assalamu alaikum everyone this is Daniel Khan and you are watching Good News Pakistan Welcome to my channel today i will take you to Karachi Pakistan's financial hub but I will not talk about uh, economy because economy is boring. I'll talk about an amazing experience I had. I was uh, in Karachi recently with my family and a friend told us about this wonderful place called uh, the Magnificent Center. Let's go and take a look. I've uh, arrived in Karachi and I'm here at uh, the Magnificent Center and I've heard a lot about it, many, many wonderful things all things related to science and technology and uh, the history of how uh, things were made and uh, invented so i'm really looking forward to it i'm here with my family my boys and uh, let's go and see all the wonderful things it's quite an experience i wish that uh, we had such things when uh, i was a kid but uh, you know i i'm reliving my childhood um, i brought my boys here and uh, they've got these different sections. Uh, they teach uh, biology, uh, you know, botany, zoology, uh, physics, and chemistry. They've got all sorts of these these gadgets here, and uh, it's such a pleasure looking at these things. And uh, Karachi has uh, really, you know, done really good for for children. And I don't know whether everyone knows about this, but uh, you know. We should have such centers across the country to teach children about uh, science and it is uh, really, really a pleasure being here. I'm at uh, the physics center where my boys are learning about uh, friction. They're on these three different kinds of uh, slides. So we really need uh, such things. Uh, you know, this is uh, teaching with entertainment for small children and uh, we should have uh, such things across Pakistan. Uh, you know, we're giving our children uh, these iPads and phones and you know, they don't go out, they don't learn much. They're just becoming lazier and lazier every day. So uh, such activities, you know, physical activities and then they're learning a lot from these things. It's a really, really good initiative. So thumbs up whoever came up with this initiative. This is Pakistan's first contemporary and interactive science center designed to provide hands-on learning experience uh, to people of all ages. The center functions as a science hub offering education and entertainment at the same time. Self-pulling chair. Come on Zaim, you can do it. I can't. Yes, you can. <laughs> I mean, as a child, I uh, wasn't ever interested in science. It was all books and theory and, uh, you know, exams all the time. But here at uh, the Magnificent Center, I saw all those theories and textbooks uh, com coming to life. I mean, uh, they have machines uh, designed to explain how science uh, really works. Uh, they're so interactive, you can actually play around and it's a lot of fun. Uh, my kids went crazy and we spent like four hours there and they just, uh, these four hours just flew away. Uh, so the center is spread over uh, four floors uh, showcasing different uh, scientific themes and concepts. Uh, the center also features a science uh, garden with a playground that encourages children uh, to play in the open and uh, tune their motor skills. Uh, there are gardens where you discover the indigenous flora and fauna, including a wetland mangrove ecosystem. You actually get to understand the importance of mangroves and how important they are uh, for the marine life. The center also hosts interactive science exhibitions uh, shows and educational programs. 
And the best part is that a large number of topics covered in this center are aligned uh, with the local school curriculum. The staff was uh, super friendly and uh, cooperative. They were patiently uh, showing my boys around. Uh, some of the topics I saw were uh, forces and motion, magnetism, uh, transmission, mathematics, that you learn through these amazing puzzles and renewable energy. The center itself is a structure built with an environment-friendly design. It is uh, um, actually running on solar panels, uh, creating its own energy. So kudos uh, to the creators. And I think that such centers uh, should be opened across the country. Uh, they actually make studying uh, bearable and very, very interesting. Uh, you all must visit uh, the center with your kids and thank me later. And this brings me to the next segment of the video. Did you know that if a child's entire circulatory system, we're talking about veins and arteries and capillaries, were laid out flat, it would stretch for more than 60,000 miles, according to the Franklin Institute. And by the time we reach adulthood, our bodies have become home to approximately 100,000 miles of blood vessels. That's just one of the mind-blowing facts uh, that uh, sound made up, but aren't. Did you know there's enough gold inside Earth to coat the whole planet? Well, it turns out uh, there's quite a bit of gold on or in our planet. According to a study, 99% of the precious metal can be found in the Earth's core. How much is there? Well, enough to coat the entire surface of the Earth in 1.5 feet of gold. Did you know bees can fly higher than 29,000 525 feet above sea level, according to uh, the National Geographic. That's higher than Mount Everest, which is the tallest mountain in the world. Imagine getting honey from that altitude. And this brings me to the end of this episode. If you like the video, consider subscribing and smash that like button. And also give me your feedback in the comments. Until next time, this is Daniel Khan signing off. Goodbye.